Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a voltage monitoring circuit within the multisim. We are making a very simple and cheap battery monitoring circuit with the help of just the LEDs and resistors. So, one more important thing that you must know is that the open terminal voltages of this lead acid battery can be as high as 15 volts although it is mentioned on the battery just 12 volt but these are for under load okay now let's start making the circuit now we need first we need to take our dc power supply or yes dc power supply and then we need to take ground after ground we can go to basic and then we can select our resistor and we need 1k resistors around 6 1k resistors so connect them out and like this and this one after these resistors, we need around 5 LEDs. Uh, we can take orange and red. We can take orange one. Okay, so, oh, cool. So, again, do it. So, so again, go to like uh, diodes and LEDs and take orange one. Also, flip it. Uh, vertically sorry vertically yeah like this now you can press ctrl c and then ctrl v ctrl v and ctrl v and also one more time ctrl v now we need to attach resistor with the with the with this uh, LED in such a way that the cathode of the LED is connected with the resistor and anode is always connected with the resistor. Okay, now now do it like this. I'll do one thing that cancel it out and we can connect first these LEDs with one another like this and then this one and the last LEDs here Okay, now now we will connect all the elements, the rest of the resistors with each other like this okay in the last we need to connect our battery with this with this terminal and this terminal okay so uh, we can also delete the ground okay it's, it's of no more use Okay, now we need to run this circuit. Okay, wait, uh, it is on, it is uh, saying for ground, so it's okay, we, we can use our ground. Yeah, okay, okay, wait, uh, we have to use the battery in reverse polarity okay like uh, we, we we have to delete it out like these connections and 
we need to flip it out the vertically and like this this one this and now you can see that four of our LEDs are on it means that our battery is charged up to 80 percent now we will jump to our highest voltages that is 15 so it is okay still with 15 it is saying like this okay then then must be 15.6 what about this okay then we can go for 15.9 yeah at 15.9 all the LEDs used to glow perfectly then we will go for 14 okay one LED down now we will go for 13 volt okay then we can go for 12 volt then it's okay then we can go for 11.5 Okay, now one more LED down. And then we can go for 11.0. Yeah, still the same. Then we can go for 10.7. Okay, good. Then 10.5. Okay, then we can set it for like a 10.0. Okay. And 9.5. Now our third LED is also down. Now we can go for 9.5, so we will then go for 8 volt and then 7 at 7 another LED goes down and it is like and after 7 if we write 6 volt maybe the last one can may also like uh, die oh no I think at uh, 4 volt they all used to now you can see that the battery is empty at 15 our first LED used to become on and at 4 volt our last LED will go. Although it is not uh, we cannot say that it is uh, perfect for lead acid batteries because their charging and discharging range is quite narrow like uh, it used to charge at like 14 volts up to 14 and uh, less than 11 point some volts it is considered at totally discharged. So we can change some values of the resistors in order to make it uh, a fine tuned with our battery. However, for simulation, hopefully you got a bit of concept regarding how to make a simple battery voltage monitoring circuit with the help of simple resistors and LEDs. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel.